Hey there, how are you? It is Thursday, I'm Allison Davis, and the question of the week is, are you getting good sleep? Are you getting enough sleep? Are you sleeping all the way through the night? Are you waking up in the middle of the night? Or are you having a hard time going to sleep in the first place? So this is part two, and a few days ago I did part one, which I recommend you go back and see that if this is an issue for you, because in that one I gave a lot of basic information about why we need good sleep, a lot of information about our circadian rhythm and how important the whole light dark cycle of day and night is and some really interesting statistics so um, you can look back on my timeline or it's on my YouTube channel you can just search my name whatever is easy um, but today I just wanted to go through a few more of the tips for good sleep so I went through like five or six last time I'm gonna go through about that many this time and um, stay to the end and I'll uh, got something for you if you're interested um, so okay next tip hi Susan how are you um, is called earthing or grounding there is a fantastic book called just called earthing I can't remember the author you can look on Amazon for it. one of the one of the best books I've read really um, message me if you want me to get you the link but anyway earthing and grounding is basically getting your bare feet and putting them in the dirt or the grass and having them there for 30 minutes 45 minutes um, what's happening is you are releasing positive ions which are what we don't want and you are uptaking negative ions which are what you do want it's basically the same thing as being at the ocean you know how good you feel at the ocean if you've been there that same thing is happening to you if your feet your bare feet are in the ground so um, I know that when I have done this um, it, and it's, it's really fascinating I can subtly tell like if I have to sit there for say 35 40 minutes and all of a sudden I can just feel I can just feel better I can feel that subtle change in my body and certainly it's better when it's good weather but um, whenever you can do that that's a great thing you know they also have earthing sheets that you can put on your bed that have little silver threads in them with a cord that plugs into the ground you know the single like where's the three hole plug but it's that single hole um, I've had those for years there's um, earthing like mouse pads there's things you can put under your desk where your bare feet sit on them and so you're getting that same effect so earthing grounding same thing is a really great thing okay next keep the temperature in your bedroom um, 70 degrees or cooler even cooler is better you know I would say somewhere between 60 and 68 you know I know that like right when you're about to jump in bed you know it's like oh, this is too cold but once you're in bed I don't know about you but it's hi Marty it's pretty you know I kind of heat up pretty quickly so but I sleep so much better when it's just a little chilly in the room uh, I wake up if it's too hot uh, and, and that's just go that's everybody that's that's a thing okay next eliminate electric devices and electromagnetic fields EMFs you hear them talked about in the bedroom that can disrupt the pineal glands production of melatonin and serotonin and by the way I told you this last time but I've got these um, a, a big long list here and I've gathered these from feather, um, several sources plus just my own experience um, but back to the EMFs that does disrupt your pineal glands production of melatonin which is what says to your body okay I'm ready to go to sleep and so you know this next one goes with it if you have to have your cell phone in the bedroom like on your nightstand or wherever it'd be better if it was away from you but also put it on airplane mode. your alarm will still work if that's what you use it for but just put it on airplane mode um, next one reserve the bedroom for sleeping you know versus I don't know I, there was one point in my life when I had my office desk in the bedroom 
Um, so that's not good, <laughs> you know. Just like not have a TV in there. Um, just reserve it for sleeping. So it's almost like a Pavlovian response, you know, when you go into the bedroom, your whole psyche, your brain is all of a sudden like, okay, it's time to go to sleep. Um, let's see, next, this is kind of interesting. Go to bed ideally between 9 and 10 p.m. The adrenal system recharges between 11 and 1 a.m and the gallbladder dumps toxins at that time. So if you're awake, those toxins are gonna back up into the liver, which are gonna create more problems. The, also, the hours of sleep from 10 to 12 are worth much more than the hours after midnight. So if you can get you know, into just the, the, like according to the sun, you know, sleep at those times. Next, use essential oils topically and in a diffuser on your nightstand. Do the same thing every night to establish a routine. It's that same concept of just this Pavlovian response. You know, like every night I go into my bedroom, I take my water bottle full of water, I fill up my diffuser that's on my um, bedside, I put cedarwood or lavender in there, um, and I take some nighttime supplements and I just have this routine that's just getting my brain and my body into that mode of let's go to sleep. Let's just do a couple more. Um, avoid fluids two hours before bedtime. You know, a lot of times we just have to get up and go to the bathroom and that's why we wake up. So if you can just avoid fluids or just a little sip, you know, in, in that two hours before and then of course go to the bathroom before you go to bed. And avoid eating three hours before bed, especially sugar and grains, because you know grains turn into sugar. Bread, pasta, all that stuff turns into sugar when it gets into your body. And so all of that's raising your blood sugar. Then a few hours later, when you're asleep, your blood sugar is going down, and that crash in blood sugar can be enough to wake you up. So. Those are just a few more. I have this sheet I put together of 28 tips for getting better sleep. If you want a copy, I'd be happy to email it to you or send it on Messenger or whatever. Just give me a message and I will get it to you. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day.